Hey guys, SK here, back with another Clash Royale video. Hope you guys are all doing well. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to reach Ultimate Champion League with Through Pinox with Cycle on Path of Legends in Clash Royale. So, I'm into my first match against Clash Bueno, and we are now in the double evolution format for good. If you guys missed the recent news or haven't been playing recently, I know quite a lot of you guys actually don't really play the game anymore, but still support me and watch my video, so I really do appreciate that. Which wanted to shout you guys out real quick, but... They did add double evolutions to this game, which is a bit unfortunate, actually. I have talked about this at length in uh, previous videos enough, so I don't really make this one too much about that topic, but I think it's a pretty tough change, honestly, and it's just something we're going to have to deal with, so uh, some of you guys might be wondering, you know, will this change the meta for 3.0 Expo Cycle? What evolution should I use? All of that stuff, so I'll say it right now. I believe the best combination of evolutions for 3.0 Expo Cycle is going to be Evo Archers, Evo Skeletons, and that's the reason I'm using them in today's video, so if you guys would like to, uh, you know, copy or mimic this, then I would advise that for the best evolution spread. Of course, you can still choose to use Knight in place of either one of those two but I do believe this is the best combination for the most offensive pressure. I'm surprised my opponent let me get quite a lot of knight damage in the left there, but I'll take it. Looks like he's playing Mortar Miner with Queen Knight Guards. This is like a really strong deck, actually. It's funny because this deck is not as popular as I expected it to be. Like, I think it's one of the best decks in the game low-key or has the potential for it. Oh wow, that's actually really lucky. I did not expect the Expo to 1v1 the Miner like that. I thought it would basically be dead, that's why I didn't support it by logging the Miner. We actually get a really big lock though, getting more damage in the right than the left. I'm surprised by that, but I will definitely take that. I'm actually going to go in because he's not playing anything. I think I'm up Elixir right now, so I'll just go Knight Expo. And Queen should not be on the Expo. Oh, it is, so unfortunate. I'll log it back, I guess. Um... Oh, that actually retargets. Okay, I really should have logged back sooner, I suppose. But we're going to get a nice mini expo lock nonetheless. One knight hit as well, just for insult to injury. And looks like this game is already over. As you guys can see, this guy's playing Mortar Miner. And we're going to have to defend this Evo Mortar Push, which will be a bit tricky. I'll try my best, though, Evo Skellies to help out. And Tesla to take the mortar out, hopefully. Oh, Evo Skellies are on the mortar. Nice. They made it all the way there. And they're making it to the tower, forcing out the arrows, which means my archers are going to have free reign to survive. Going to knight to predict an archer queen. Um, fireballs. Okay, so he's playing fireball arrows. He missed the expo. I'm going to predict another archer queen. I think that's, like, all he can really do. I'm just going to keep trying to predict archer queen. Like, that's literally his only play. Or a miner, I guess, but that doesn't work that well. I mean, this miner should die. I'm going to expo again because he should be low on elixir. Yeah, the miner's dead anyways, and he is forced to respond to one of these. And, uh, since he responded to the second expo late... That's pretty much going to be game because the first expo locked on so much. As you guys can see, a pretty big tip in this Mortar Miner matchup is to try and win in single elixir. It's something I always try and do, and that's why I was able to get a nice lock early on by being really aggressive. Okay, I'm going to have to defend this because uh, he is going to do a pretty good play of pulling my knight back with that miner. But I think I'll still be alive. Yeah, I'll be fine. Um, that was a bit sketchy for a second, but now I can just cycle back to my second fireball. And it should be a pretty free win. So yeah, just pressure well and single if your opponent isn't the best defensive player. You can really get a big lock. Even against good players, like Titan beats this matchup pretty often in single elixir. In my last top ladder video featuring him, that's the same thing he did. So really nice first win against Mortar Miner Queen to get the push going. Alright guys, so I'm next match against Bakura, and I think I'm 7 wins away, at least before I started recording today, 7 wins away from Ultimate Champion, so if you guys have been following me for a while, you'll know that I pretty much always do this kind of video, how to reach Ultimate Champion with Super Nexus Cycle. I reach it twice in the season on both of my accounts, and I just record the games for you guys, so hopefully uh, you enjoy that type of content. This usually is some of the better performing content on my channel. He goes for a low Mother Witch. I'm going to ignore all of this. Okay, let me try and hit the Mother Witch and Barbs with this Fireball, looking like a very interesting deck here. I missed- okay, I hit only one barb. That's really awkward. I left a knight for the right side, I think. Um, not the greatest situation. All skellies as well for the wallbreakers. I think I'll be able to survive. Yeah, that actually does full defend, so honestly, we are still going to come out on top. I'm pretty happy with the way that worked out. On another note, if you guys do enjoy the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. As of today, I, or I think last night, I did reach uh, 34k subscribers on YouTube, so huge, really nice milestone, getting up there. My next goal is probably going to be 40k, I guess, that's going to be a while, probably a few months, but I think I've just been happy with the slow growth, you know, someone commented the other day, slow and steady is better than fast and insincere, something like that. I do agree with that, so I do really appreciate all of you guys for supporting me, and if you enjoy the content, feel free to show the support with a like or subscription. We see an Evo Bomber. Let me just fireball all of that. Look at the Bomber going crazy, getting 
tower damage. It's so annoying because honestly, this card is kind of ruining the game. If you guys uh, did not know, one of my good friends, Hunter, recently made a video just kind of critiquing the Evo Bomber for being so broken. And I really do agree with pretty much all the points he made. Like, it's pretty much single handedly dominating the top ladder meta right now. That is until Evo Wallbreakers release. They're going to release like tomorrow as of the time I'm recording this video. So that's not going to be uh, too fun to look at, but we'll have to deal with it, I guess. I'll Tesla up. For these wall breakers and minor, pretty much the only play you can make. Or you can go like Skelly's log and have not have that in cycle though. So to go minor wall breakers, just a Tesla is a pretty safe bet. Now he does not have Evos back. He doesn't have Evo Barbs or Evo Bombers. So I think this is a pretty safe expo play to make. He's gonna split his barbs. No, he just goes for barbs. I think that's a huge misplay. Wow. Usually you guys will see I was ready to like archers up high because usually people are going to go split barbs in the middle, but he clumped them all up, giving me a free fireball. I think that was a huge misplay. Beautiful ice spirit hitting. All the minions and wall breakers. That was insane value from that, and that's going to be good game right there. That was a crazy ice spirit, dude. Oh my god, that was wild. And he's still trying, but uh, I mean, this is like minor wall breakers. Not too bad of a matchup, actually. It's like a very heavy deck. For some reason, he has double witches. I don't know what's the deal with that. Like, Mother Witch. I don't know why the fascination with Mother Witch, I guess, to counter graveyard, but Mother Witch Night Witch is a very odd combination. I never really see that, like, ever. Um. But yeah, I think I should survive. Wait, this is a huge push coming down. Hold up. I think I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. I have to get my archers on for those air troops. Oh, bomber. Okay, only skeletons over to the corner to let it hit the tower. And it's still gonna... Oh, we're not gonna hit the tower. Nice control. That's gonna be a nice win against minor wall breakers. Kind of a weird variation, but we kind of got him really well early on in the match. Alright guys, so in a match against Dumani, if you saw, I got a tower troop chest in my last win, and of course it was a princess tower, like, the drop rate on those things is crazy, I have like a level 10 cannoneer, after opening like over 20 uh, tower troop chests, it's kind of wild. I've been considering buying cannoneer, but I just don't really feel like it's right, like, it's definitely way better than princess tower, in fact I do believe it needs a nerf, I just, it just doesn't feel right to me to have to spend money to have an advantage, like, that's just kind of silly you know uh but i have been considering getting it because i mean it's so strong i definitely want to see what it's like anyway we're okay, gonna be up against lava hound i was not sure after seeing knight inferno dragon since my cycle kind of messed up i'm gonna go for a knight the bridge yeah worst case we're still gonna break even we force out the tombstone so it's not like i'm going knight into lava hound just allowing him to build up a big push that's the reason i always go knight opposite to pressure um if my cycle's messed up that is i'm gonna go tesla for this loon hopefully cut it last second okay it still targets the lava hound but i can get a really nice fireball on everything right now let me just do that okay should have angled it a bit lower could have hit those lower pups but still not a big deal i am actually in the lead nonetheless so looking pretty decent i could not tell did he go arrows on my archers just now i think he did or was it a fireball I'm, i don't know but either way um if he doesn't have a minor this should still be a decent matchup for me lava hound is generally a pretty good matchup for expo because evil archers put in so much work and on that note i have them right now i'm just going to use them he splits his barbs so he's playing a very ground heavy lava deck i guess he has evil knight and evil barbs from what it looks like going to be a bit problematic to deal with but he actually does not have uh barbs in cycle right now and waste his knight i'm gonna go expo he has nothing in hand right now guys like literally nothing uh to tank for this expo he did i think that was a misplay cycling a knight like that I'm gonna hover my evo skellies oh look at this they're not gonna get too much value but that's more value than normal skeletons because that's one extra skelly tanking for the expo i'll actually go archers ice spirit as well just to maximize this lock it's a big overcommit, but we still force out the archers so technically i didn't spend anything extra um for that and i get a huge lock so nice pressure basically just recognizing his cycle was bad because i know he has uh knight barbs and a tombstone actually has three ground troops but he wasted his knight so he didn't really have anything uh, immediately for that expo so that was really nice anyways i'm gonna try and cut this knight out of expo range this is a very nice trick you can make and as you guys can see it works he was not ready for that at all he had barbs in the cycle but did not play them down so that's pretty much going to be good game i'm gonna go knight for this evo knight i not want to lose my tower to an evo knight of course and I guess I'll go archers early, force up the arrows. I'm already one off Tesla. That's why I like pre-cycling a Tesla sometimes as well. Against these big Lava Hunt pushes, sometimes you just want to go for double Teslas. It's going to be a big uh, little strategy against this matchup. And that's a free fireball. And now I have evil archers. As you guys can see, this is really not too bad of a matchup. I think if we played it better, we would not have won so early on. But we can still pressure well. And it's going to be tough for them to break through if we do play well, and I believe I'm very good at this matchup. I think Lava Hound's one of my best matchups uh, with Thrupin Expo Cycle. I almost never lose it, um, so if you guys want to beat Lava Hound, just watch my videos, and that's a nice win. Let's keep the push going. All right, guys, so our next match against Ricardo. I like his Heal Spirit banner. Let's see what he's going to be running. Team Tokyo. Don't... Or is that Tok-10? I'm not, I'm not sure. Anyway, goes for a Rage. 
Oh, wait, wait, I'm, am I tripping, guys? Wait, he has a level 14 princess tower. That is wild. Because I swear I have never seen this. Like, he's a level 15 king, but level 14 princess. I guess he's one of those people who recently upgraded his, um... Wait, actually, I don't even remember. Did I have to upgrade my princess tower to 15? I think I did, but if I'm not mistaken, they also made it so if you were a king tower 15 uh, when they did this update, you got it for free. I don't even remember, honestly. Either way, I obviously, I have it. I'm, I'm used to it. Like, I have not seen this mismatch ever. This is my first time. I've seen um, level like underleveled cannoneers, of course, with the king tower being higher, but this is unprecedented. Gonna go for the knight. Oh, we're, I was so distracted by the fact that he had like a novelty tower level that I did not notice the match we're up against. Oh my god, it's gonna be goblin giant recruits. Wonderful matchup, of course. Love to see it. Just gonna ice it for the LP in the right. Want to minimize damage if I can. We are still in the lead, and these archers are actually gonna pop off, guys, if he does not respond, because archers have a nice interaction where they survive one extra tower hit from an underleveled princess tower. Look at that. So, that's gonna be like four archer hits. That's gonna be practically the equivalent of a baby expo connection so i will take that you know he's down to 3k already anyway we still got like 1000 damage even if he was like level 15 although we would not have gotten that much if he was playing um or if if he didn't get that uh unfortunate archer connection is what i'm trying to say anyway we're gonna go expo right now he has nothing for this he has lp i guess that would be a bit annoying if he played it but he lets it lock on we're gonna have to defend for our lives now though how are we gonna defend this actually he's gonna go with goblin giant here I have my double evos, let me go for my archers first, and I have evo scalies coming up, but I'll wait for him to spell before using them, because you cannot afford to let them get spell value. Okay, waste the arrows, I'll go evo scalies now. Look at them go, they're gonna melt everything, and evo archers survive the arrows. That was a crazy defense, oh my god, god bless the double evos for that. Like, I'm actually really surprised that worked out as well as it did, but it was amazing, and that's pretty much good game. I can't believe it, dude, like... That was a great defense, and again, a big fundamental there was uh, preventing them from getting spell value by separating your troops, or not even playing them. Like, I know he has arrows. He has rage, too. I guess he did not have enough elixir for the rage at the time, um, but say I just spammed evil archers, evil skellies, he would have killed all of them with the arrows. I probably would have lost my tower or something at that point, but since I did not, uh, I waited with my skellies. I was patient. It worked out very well. Gonna log to kill that LP. Want it off the board as soon as possible. Archer's earliest. If he goes arrows, I can get back to a new pair. That's a very common fundamental here. Does go for the arrows, but I can just go back for a second Tesla. I don't even think I need the arrows. Or the archers, rather. I can just, like, cut everything into the middle. That was a super clean defense, guys. Wonderful game against Goblin Giant. I pretty much was offensive and pressured. Uh, I really hate this match. I'm gonna BM him because, like, honestly, I despise Goblin Giant recruits. But, yeah, that was really clutch. And, honestly, uh, the Evos kind of saved me there, so all about rapid evo cycling i was a bit aggressive punishing the recruits back with the expo and just defended well with my double evolutions to take the game all right guys looking for the next match as we found it against panako interesting font on his name i think we are like three wins away from ultimate champion now, each game has been like three minutes long very fast ladder push today like no five minute games like we're used to with expo cycle because i mean expo cycle is a five minute game deck like overtime and all of that but if you play well you can pretty much win early and uh, outplay opponents like I've been doing today. And honestly, this is pretty clutch, guys, because it's like the first week of the season. So I'd love to reach Ultimate Champion with like a nice win rate early on. I think the highest I've done in the first week was 94%. Okay, it would have been nice if I didn't misplace my Expo by one. Goes for the Bowler. I'll go Archers to kill it. Eggsy Bowler screams Graveyard to me. I'm not 100% sure, but that's what I think it's going to be. We get one lock. That's a mini expo lock, I suppose. Archers will counter push too, but he might go graveyard with this Eggsy right now, honestly. Yeah, he, and I, I feel like it's a valid play, because I did just use my archers. So I'll Tesla log once he freezes. Yup, it is going to be graveyard, as I suspected. As you guys can see, I actually take quite a bit of damage. That's, whoa, that is so much damage. Hold up, did I even do anything wrong there? Um... I guess I logged a bit too early, but yikes, that was so much damage. I'm down a thousand now. That's not optimal. I could maybe punish with my evil arches right now, though. I'm not sure if it'll be the best option, but it's something I could do. Let me see. I'm going to go expo right now. Um, I really do want to evo archers to kill something, but I don't want to predict. I guess I'll do it anyway. Let's see. Okay, goes barbs. Okay, they're going to die. He's going to go like exe or bowler or whatever to kill them now. Um, wait, he kind of messed up his bowler, guys. That's really low. He misplaced it. I'll go ice spirit to kite these barbs out of range. This should be a lock. I'll tesla to predict an executioner. We catch the eye drag. I guess that works. Evo skellies, unfortunately, reacted a bit too late, but they will still distract the eye drag for quite a while. 
And that's going to be a huge lock. We get pretty much all our damage back, which is wonderful. I doubt he's going to freeze with this 1 HP I drag. Oh, I should. I, I guess I should have recognized I would have gotten the skellies down too late, and I should have just waited for the Tesla to die, then gone skellies, but it's fine. I'll expo again. He should not have bowler back in cycle right now. Okay, he does. He has skellies in this deck, so rapid cycle. I'll split my archers. Um, and the goal right now is to prevent him from going graveyard. Like, I'm just going constantly aggressive, because this is how you play against graveyard freeze. They don't have the best uh, responses to your, like, map support. Like, I basically try and build up counter pushes with knight archers, surviving tesla's on the board, stuff like that. And they don't have a big spell, so they kind of struggle against um, that kind of playstyle, if you know what I mean. So I just like to keep going aggressive and not really let them ever build up their big graveyard freeze push. Okay, I just missed the fireball. That's a terrible fireball, guys. I'll go Tesla, though. Double Tesla's on the board. I think they should still defend just fine. Yeah, he can't really do anything. Splits the Evo Skellies. He is definitely going for a graveyard punish at some point. I want to log, but at the same time, I don't, because I know he's going to graveyard. Um, well, I have to log now. That Evo Skelly on the right is getting awfully close. Okay, please die, thank god. Evo Skellies, dude, they can lose you the game by themselves. Like, that card is wild. I've actually won games with them myself, playing them in Expo. Let's go for the freeze, but the Tesla is going to be played late enough to the point where he'll still attack the Eggsy. Beautiful, that's a lock and that's a good game, he just froze so he can't uh, reset this. Very nice, he only got to play one Graveyard the whole game as you guys can see, so that was pretty much the playstyle you want to go for against Graveyard Freeze. And now we're going to be actually one win away from Ultimate Champion, so again, really fast ladder push today, like just straight wins. So let's get the final one. I think that's going to be six wins, I, I don't know, but they've all been like three minutes long, so it's been really fast. Um, like, really, really fast. Q-Time's taking a fair amount of time, but I think that was five wins, so it should be six total in today's video. Very fast one, but found our match against Bazer. Pretty much picking up where I left off in the last video, where I uh, talked about double Evos. Will they kill Expo? If you guys want to check that video out, it's like the most recent one on my channel, other than this one. He gives the Goblin uh, Tongue, whatever that's called. Uh, emote goes night okay terrible poison i'm actually gonna go in i have a feeling this is splash yard and if it is i'll go tesla with this expo yeah i'm gonna go tesla actually i'll go knight instead i think it's safer because okay yeah knight was a great play i think tesla is like a bit more um situational gonna ice spirit log for everything he, he calls a good game i'm gonna call a good game back that was a terrible poison dude and that's actually why i went for those archers because you can really bait out bad spells early on like if anything, the play there would have been, like, Archer's same lane back on his end or something. I guess he could not have really known I was playing Expo, but I mean, Knight Archer's... Okay, actually, yeah, you can't really know you're playing Expo against that, because double Evos now, like, I think quite a few decks run Knight Expo or Knight Archer's, like, maybe Goblin Giant, stuff like that. But when I see a Poison as an Expo player, I like to stack a big push uh, on offense, because it's just they don't have a Poison, to poison at the Expo. And I, th I guess he's playing Graveyard. Yeah, Baby Dragon comes down. Um, center Tesla is just a very safe play. You can't really go wrong with it. And there's really nothing he can do at this point. Like, unless he's playing some kind of ridiculous uh, beatdown deck, which I doubt he is because he already revealed the poison. He okay, poison cycle is a terrible play. I mean, I can afford to fireball because uh, he is like three fireballs from dying, but I am like ten poisons from dying, so he can't poison like that. Okay, he's just going to go archers. He's going to let this expo go. So... I guess his strategy is go all in in the left lane? Like, is that his goal? Yeah, he's going all in, Evo Knight, okay. I mean, what's this gonna do? Like, this is not gonna end well for him. I'm just gonna go Evo Archers to melt this all. Uh, Knight to protect them. Yeah, everything got melted, dude. That got shredded, like, faster than... I don't even know, like, that just got shredded so fast. Like, faster than cheese at a restaurant. Shredded cheese, I don't know, that was really random. But, like, that just got melted, is my point. Um, like, a knife through butter, and now this game is over. I'll show you guys a fun little placement this is a defensive expo placement that only hits a graveyard if they go like knight plus graveyard at the bridge this expo will ignore the knight and only work on the graveyard so it's kind of fun it's not very practical it doesn't work most of the time but it's just a fun trick so yeah I just, that's why i went for it anyway he gave up so game is over yeah that guy kind of got destroyed because he did a really bad decision going early poison like that like that was terrible so as an expo player guys you have to know how to uh, calculate those kind of situations. Let's see what our winner is going to be. It's going to be... Oh, what? Okay, I did not I did not get the screen. Wait, am I tripping? What? Um, I guess my game glitched. I'm going to be 551 in the world. Okay, 1936. I'll just do the math real quick. So, it's 2000 minus 1936 is going to be 64. And then it goes in increments of 8. So, 64 over 8. Uh, that's going to be 8. So, I lost 8% on my win rate, guys. Um, 
So that's a 92% win rate. I had to manually calculate it there because they did not show it to me for whatever reason. That sucks because I usually use that on the thumbnail of these videos, but I already have a 92% from before. I guess I'll just reuse that. But that is going to be 92% to Ultimate Champion, guys. Honestly, really good win rate that I'm very proud of, and we beat lots of tough matchups on the way up here. Like Minor Poison, like uh, Giant Graveyard even, Mega Knight Lightning Arrows. I even lost some earlier. A bit unfortunate. I'd love to get 100% one day, um, but I think that day will be pretty far because I like to play early and it's easier to do it when you're playing later on but still top 550 in the world very nice stuff that's gonna be how to reach ultimate champion with through panoxo cycle with a new double evolution so hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching take care and i will see you in the next one